And that kind of led then to, I suppose, your, your next level of coming out, which was the, your, your rugby family. Yeah. And that, that happened, strangely enough, it happened in a dressing room after a match, didn't it? Yeah, you know, because, uh, again, at that time I'd lost everything. So, I'd, you know, I'd lost my wife, I felt I'd lost my family and my friends. But the one thing I had left was my team. And the one thing I'd left, which I could actually still perform somehow, um, was rugby. And it was after a game and, and we were sitting in the changing rooms and I felt that I hadn't played very well, which was devastating to me because through it all I, was, I still had the passion for rugby and the love for rugby and the yeah. love for my team. So I, it was in the changing rooms and I, I was crying because all of a sudden now I'd lost everything and the one thing I'd left I felt I'd lost as well. So I didn't want to leave the changing rooms because I felt I could never walk back in there after this day. And Scott Johnson, who was um, coach for Australia at the time, walked in to the Welsh changing rooms and, and started shaking everybody's hand. And he came to me and he looked me in the eye and he seen I was crying. And he asked me what was wrong. I said, look, mate, Gem has left me. And he said, it's one of two things. And I think I, I know what it is. And for me, the door opened ever so slightly. And I remember thinking to myself, right, OK, I either do um, what was in my nature to do as a rugby player and that was to, to go for it or close that door and literally to me it would walk out of the change rooms and I don't really know where I'd have gone from there so I decided to tell him and you know by telling him he said to me right you can't do this on your own you know you have a group of players that regardless of who you are they, they love you as a person and he decided to tell two, two, two really good friends of mine Martin Williams and Stephen Jones and the team and you know all they wanted to do was just they he told them, they tapped me on the shoulder, they said, mate, do you know what, we don't care because you're the same person to us now we know as, we, as you were before we knew. And that was, for me, the, the start of climbing out of that pit.